My name is Manuel R. Da Silva, Jr. I'm the head fly tying instructor for the Western Mass Fly Fishermen and our fly tying classes. Right? And uh, what we're going to do is this is the uh, Teleco Nymph review video. And again, this is a very fast video to bring my students back up to, to speed in case they forgot a certain procedure. I'm going to catch my thread behind the eye of, my, of the hook. I'm going to wrap back towards the bend of the hook, catching my thread. I'm going to trim off my excess thread. And again, I'm going to half hitch because we half hitch between every procedure. I'm now going to wrap back to tail position. And I am going to tie in the optional tail. We did not tie it, the tail in at class. But I'm going to tie in a tail on this particular fly. And the tail is optional on this. OK, I want to get all the way to tail. All right, I've already prepared a feather, as you can see. If you went to my class, you know that I've already combed the barbels down. I'm now going to reach in, and I'm just going to tear off a dozen or so, pinch them together. It's a very short tail on this one if you do tie it in. I'm going to measure and apply it to the top of the hook shank with a couple of wraps. And then on all my tails, I like to take one wrap underneath. And then I wrap back up on top. As you can see, the butts are already angled forward, forward for me, so I'm just going to come in and cut close. And tie that down. All right. And half hitch. Next, we're going to tie in our peacock girl, which was supplied to your fly tying kit. Okay. We're going to tie it in by the tips. As you can see, they're very erratic in length. And I'm just going to trim them so they're all the same length. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply them to the top of the hook shank. I'm going to wrap back, binding them down. Wrap all the way to tail. Now I'm going to take my thread forward to just behind the eye of the hook. and execute a thread pinch. The next item we're going to tie in is our yellow floss, which makes up our body. And again, the yellow floss, that was, that was supplied to the fly tying kit. I'm just going to cut off a, a, approximately 9 inches of floss. This is a, uh, the Danville four-strand floss. I like using this because uh, it makes it a lot easier for me to build a tapered body. So I'm going to catch that in on the top of the shank of the hook, give it a couple of wraps, come in with my trimming scissors, and cut off the excess. I'm trying to hold it forward, so it trims at an angle, and then I'll take my thread all the way to the eye, just behind the eye of the hook, and wrap back to my tie-in point, and execute a half hitch. Now, as I instructed in the class, we're going to take our floss. We want to do as little combing as possible with our fingers because it'll turn into a fuzz ball. And we want to keep our fingers close as we make nice, tight wraps because the further our fingertips get away when we're wrapping, the more the floss opens up. And we don't want it to do that just yet. So we're going to make a nice tight body. And we're going to wrap all the way to tail. Now I'm going to wrap towards the eye of the hook. And I'm going to go up maybe about 3 quarters of my body's length. I'm going to stop, change directions. I'm going to wrap back. And I'm going to stop short of tail position. Now I'm going to wrap forward a little bit of overlap, and we've prepared our tapered body. 
Satisfied with that, I'm going to take my floss all the way to my thread and execute a thread pinch. Once that's done, I'm going to trim off my excess floss, holding my material at a forward angle. And I'm going to bind down the butts and wrap back to my tie-in point, or actually my cutoff point. Execute a half hitch. I am now going to take one of my hurl, just one strand. I'm going to do one full wrap in the back. Then I'm going to angle my hurl forward, and I will allow it to spiral up the body, forming the rib. Once I get to my thread, I'll take one more full, full wrap, and then execute a thread pinch. Angling it forward, cut off my excess. Wrap forward to the eye, wrap back to my tie-off point, execute a half hitch. Okay, that takes care of that. Pick up my slack. I'm now going to take the rest of the strands of my hurl, forming them together over the back of the fly and execute a thread pinch, holding them right on top of the back of the fly, top of the hook shank. Cut off my excess. Again, all material angle forward when you cut. Wrap back to the eye, wrap forward all the way to the back, back side of the eye and then wrap back or tie off point. I already have another feather prepared. This is going to be our collar. So you can see it's not very long. I'm going to comb the barbels down on both sides. I'm going to trim on both sides, on both sides of the stem. I'm going to use my finer scissors. Okay, now I'm going to turn it so the good side of the feather is up towards me. I'm going to catch it on top of the hook shank. Wrap forward to the eye. Wrap back about halfway. Stop and half hitch. And to my students, you always want to realize that you have a little bit of a clean stem for your first couple of wraps just helps it turn to, uh, to roll around the, the, the hook shank. Catch it by the tip, gently pull it forward to fracture the outer core of the stem of the feather. I'm gonna take three wraps of material, nice tight wraps. We're gonna stand it up and execute a thread pinch. Release our hackle pliers, cut off our excess. And I'm gonna dampen my, feather, my fingers on my little sponge here. Stand my thread straight up, comb all those barbels back. Wrap forward all the way to the eye and then wrap back to our cutoff point. I'm gonna start wrapping forward Stop and execute the three or four half hitches that we use to lock our thread on the head of the fly in class. Again, I go underneath and I cut off. And I'm going to apply glue to my bodkin 
to apply it to the head of the fly because the brush puts out too much glue. And like I said in class, once you've done that, make sure you take the glue off the bodkin because if it sets up and then you drag it, your bodkin across the thread, it'll cut the thread. There's one little hair sticking up. And there is our teleco nymph. Hope you enjoyed it.